Well, this relates to my favourite talk to parents uh, and teachers as well, um, where I basically list the 10 advantages of bilingualism. And uh, those 10 advantages form into six groups, um, which all start with the letter C. If I read them, communication advantages, cultural advantages, cognitive, i.e. thinking advantages, character advantages, curriculum advantages, which is about doing well at school, and cash advantages. If I were just to pick out two of those, it would be cognitive, which is the thinking advantages of bilingualism. There's now masses of research which shows that bilingual children who have two fairly well-developed languages um, have extra thinking advantages over monolinguals. Uh, for example, in them being flexible in their thinking, in being creative or divergent in their thinking. Um, and in some of the aspects of learning to read early on, um, but also being sensitive to communication, being aware of what's going on in terms of language around them. The second big advantage to me is increasing the economic or the employment advantage of being bilingual. Um, and that is that there are jobs out there for bilinguals, particularly where there's a customer interface where you need uh, the person selling something, for example, to speak two languages, not just one. Um, then there's advantages. Not just multinational companies, it can be um, lo in the locality where the shopkeeper um, needs two languages to sell um, well. So many advantages, um, overall 10, and I'll quickly read the 10, uh, wider communication, literacy in two languages, broader enculturation, greater tolerance and appreciation of diversity, thinking advantages, raised self-esteem, security and identity, increased curriculum achievement, easier to learn a third language, and economic employment advantages. Now, for any mother, father, parent who has the opportunity to raise children bilingually, who would deny them those 10 advantages by raising them monolingually? Well, that's the question.